Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing another episode of FIFA 15. Um, we're getting into the second half of the business sort of end of the season now and uh, we're in the final of the Capital One Cup and we're playing uh, Liverpool I think in that. If I can find it. Yeah, we're playing Liverpool in that. Another game before that we beat Bournemouth 2-0 in the semi-final. And 3-0 uh, actually on aggregate and Liverpool beat Newcastle pretty badly, I think that was about 7-2 defeat over um, aggregate, but uh, yeah, it's into the Champions League now for us guys, and we get a really easy sort of group from the teams we could have got from uh, the second sort of stream of teams, we get SL Benfica guys, as you know in the league, or before the season started this year, we actually beat Benfica 5-1 I think, um, in the Emirates Cup, so this game should be pretty easy for us guys, and it's coming up in a couple of months time, well not months time, a couple of weeks time actually um, it's coming in around February time, what, are, what day are we on now? we're actually coming into February so this is going to be in the next couple of days guys but yeah let's go into the first game and uh, actually I want to show you one wee thing first just before we get into the game uh, I'll just do a wee quick refresh of the team, I can't do that right, sorry about that um, suggested subs, yeah I can do that uh, Marquinhos, bring him on. But yeah, I want to talk about um, our team here, guys, and who we brought in and who we let go. So, um, as you all know, we brought in the Santos, who went up to 82 rated, Jesus, already. When he came in, he was 80 rated, guys, but he's injured at the minute, he's going to be back soon. Mez Ozil's out at the moment, and we let go of Chesney for 18.5 million, along with uh, Paco Alcacer for around 25 million, guys. And Giovanni Dos Santos was a replacement who scored in his first game. But unfortunately he got injured so I brought in Batshuayi. So that means we now have three choices for striker. We have Welbeck, Batshuayi and uh, Giovanni Dos Santos. So we're definitely strong in that area. Sanchez is out at the moment along with uh, a few other players. Yeah, Ozil as I said before. And I think we just got Wilshere back. So hopefully we can play a pretty decent team up against um, the next couple of games. Especially in the Champions League that we're going to be playing soon, guys. That's, we're coming into them sorts of games now. Every couple of weeks, we're going to be having one of them. So we're definitely going to have to play a strong team, guys. But anyway, we'll get into the game, and I will show you the team then. Okay, guys, we're going to go into our first game now against Stoke City. Uh, at the Emirates, in the first game of the season, you remember, guys, we won, I think it was, 2-1. Walcott scoring the winner in that one. Hopefully he can have another good game. Uh, he's starting out in the right, I think, today. And I think I'm playing Welbeck on the left. I can't really remember. I do line up against some stage with uh, Welbeck on the left. But as you know now, this is a post-commentary. But Walcott, as you can see here, was a great ball in over the top of Batshuayi. Walcott connects with it, brings it in between the goalkeeper and the defender. And the defender is unluckily just knocks it into the net. But that is 1-0 straight off, guys. As you can see here, Chamberlain takes the ball away and he goes down. Bad tackle from the C Jeff Cameron there. After he takes the ball away from him, Jeff Cameron has to take him down and he gets red carded for that. Unfortunately, it wasn't inside the box, but it was very close to it. Uh, so we could have got 2 and 1 there, but uh, basically the red card helps us in the rest of the game. But as you can see here, Chamberlain gets away really well and uh, gets brought down. As we play on here, you can really notice the difference with the less amount of Stoke City defenders, it's just when they come back to defend, they're just not as strong as we are. And uh, we do a lot better against them guys in this hat, or after they get the man sent off. It's just they're not the same team anymore. They're a lot weaker, and we are a lot more stronger guys, because you never want to go down to 10 men against Arsenal, basically. It's a very bad thing. But there we go, that's Chamberlain's fourth goal of the season, and uh, hopefully we can do pretty well. But here we're going into half-time guys, and there it is, just ending the whistle there. Uh, we played well in that half, but uh, hopefully we can do better in this half against a good Stoke side that's been okay. But hopefully we can get even more goals just to make sure we're putting cement in our position in the league. As you can see here, we play really well off the break. Batshuayi and Chamberlain link up again. Chamberlain passing it through to Batshuayi and Batshuayi just finishes perfectly into the top middle left hand corner. Uh, corner? What? <laughs> but basically he puts it into the left hand side of the goalkeeper just in his near post. Keeper should have done better, but we do get the goal, and that's 3-0. As you can see here, Batshuayi breaks away, has another shot, but uh, unfortunately doesn't get the goal. That would have been his fourth, or the second goal of the game, but as you can see here, he plays well again. Gets brought down there on the edge of the box. I thought that was a penalty, 
But uh, if you think it was a penalty, put in the comment section what you thought. But uh, there we go. 19 yards out, guys. Wolcott lines up to try and hit it. Has a wee swing at it. And unfortunately, it just goes over the bar. But it's still 3 0 at the moment. But Welbeck breaks away here, guys. We bring him on for Batchui as well. Just saying. And uh, put him on. Debussy, come on. But Welbeck finishes really well there, guys. As a substitute. Super sub there. As you can see, the space is just really open because they're down to 10 men the whole game, guys. And uh, goalkeeper should have done better again, but uh, it's 4 0 up now. So, yeah, they're just going to play about. Like, we've played very well in this game, guys, to be honest with you. We've definitely done a lot better than what we've done in previous games. Uh, we're now really pushing for the title, guys. We're about seven points off, and we're just waiting for Chelsea to lose games, really. Uh, we're playing well enough now to just get a good win streak going. And uh, as you can see here, we're linking up really well. Chamberlain linking up with the strikers really well. And uh, cool and quiet to finish from him. him there to make it five, guys. 5-0 up, and uh, that's coming into the end of the game now, pretty much, guys. Uh, we've definitely played a lot better, but uh, Stoke just haven't done enough, guys, to be honest with you. We've played the better, we've been the better team. Uh, Stoke have been really poor, to be honest with you. As you can see here, Chamberlain just does a wee bit of skill there, gets a shot away, but it's blocked, and that could have been 6, guys, but it uh, ends 5-0. There's the final whistle, and uh, we'll have to move on to our next game. So yeah, I'm going to line up a little bit differently, guys. We play left or well back on the left here, and uh, we start Giovanni De Santos, I think. Uh, Diave, I think we play as well, do we? Can't really remember. Uh, basically, we line up really strong, as you can see, guys. But with uh, Murtasaker and Marquinhos in defence, uh, we bring on Rosicky as well, just to see how he does. So we do, we do bring him on, I think, in the next game. But uh, that's the team we line up with. It's really strong, guys, and hopefully we can try and get the win. So let's go into the game. We need to try and do well in this one, guys, to try and really pull out a good scoreline for the second leg, because this is the away one. So if we win this game at all, guys, we're in with a massive chance in the second leg. <coughs> so yeah, that's the round of 16 there, as you saw. A um, few people, Monaco are 2-0 up in their first leg so uh, hopefully we can do just as good and maybe we'll get them in the quarterfinals. But yeah as you can see we're just lining up here. First champ round of 16 game in the Champions League is always a major one and uh, unfortunately for Arsenal this year they're probably going to get another big team because they finished second but uh, I did well enough to get first in my group so I get to play the easier teams. But in this game it's a lot different we're not just as attacking. We do do well but uh, Benfica definitely came out a lot more and attacked us than Stoke did, but Stoke did lose that man really early on and that would have made a bit more of an impact in that game, I bet you guys. If they had 11 men over the, pitch, the whole pitch the whole game, I would say they probably would have scored. Um, but as you can see, Benfica are lining up with their 11 men. We're definitely a stronger team in this game. Uh, a lot of first team players coming in, guys, to uh, try and cement the win. But as you can see here, De Santos and... Uh, Cazorla have two really good shots and that was clip was cut out a wee bit but hopefully it'll show a replay of it if it doesn't I'll fix it <laughs> yeah there's a replay as you can see jo Giovanni and Wolcock linking up well um, I'll get that clip sorted out as you can see here good pass and move to, between De Santos and Cazorla and De Santos just does a wee chip there puts it in the back of the net that's 2-0 up guys in the first half definitely played well um, but just not as good as we have done against Stoke, we definitely gave Benfica more of the ball but that wee turn there was brilliant and got away from his man to get the finish in so uh, just after half time now guys we're playing against the Benfica side and they're attacking left or from right to left now so if you're just wondering that uh, Murtasaker plays well and Cazorla here, Wolcott comes out and he does a wee bit of a dribble. As you can see here, that was a great strike by them. That could have been an unreal goal. But uh, unfortunately, it was offside. As you can see here, we're coming in again. Gio Giovanni De Santos. Super header. Makes it 3-0, guys, in the 84th minute. And that should be us through to the next round. If we do lose 3-0 or more at home, I will be very, very disappointed. But that was definitely a good goal. 
and he pretty much secured the team through to the next round guys um, I don't think they're going to beat us 3 now at home especially um, Benfica they should have played better at their own stadium but uh, as you can see here great ball in two off both posts shoddy clearance has to clear again doesn't happen has to clear again and it finally goes out but guys that's it for this game and we'll move into the next one this is a Wigan FA Cup game we're in the round fifth round so basically it's what happened last year when Arsenal won the league or the FA Cup but I'm going to sim it just to see how we do guys uh, we've done well in Simmons lately we haven't really lost many games by doing it sim the whole way to the Capital One Cup final so uh, hopefully we can do it in this one too so yeah we play we're playing really conservative here uh, Dos Santos gets the goal and then they equalise with a penalty in the 41st minute moving into the second half we're still playing well a couple of people get yellow carded but nothing too worried too much to be worried about but Shui comes on for Dos Santos and then Welbeck finds the net in the 86th minute guys late goal but gets us through to the next round we're in the round 6 now this is the league table uh, Chelsea just only 7 points clear of us but we have a game in hand so we're bringing it down 4 points now guys uh, if we win our next game and hopefully we can do that but we'll move into that game now so we will against Aston Villa so this is the team we're going to be playing uh, we're going to play a few different ones we're going to play Chamberlain out in the right wing uh, we're going to play uh, Rabiot as well in this game I think we do um, Koscielny comes back in for Mertesacker or Koscielny Right, Marquinhos, he comes in for Marquinhos and we bring on off Ramsey, put him into the subs bench just in case uh, we bring on Rabiot. So that's the team we go for guys, playing Dos Santos up front still yet again. We're trying to get him as many games as possible to try and make him improve. But uh, yeah, let's move into the game. Um, we're playing at home again so hopefully we can try and get a win. This should be a must win for Arsenal if they're pushing for the, Tram or the Premier League title. As you can see, Aston Villa are in 13th place and they're 16 points behind us guys. So we should definitely do a lot better in this game. <coughs> so yeah, let's kick off. <laughs> Sorry, I've been dying with the cold lately, guys. That's why the videos haven't really been coming out so often, and I'm not really feeling that well. So the quality is probably just not as good with the commentary, but uh, what can you do? But uh, as you can see there, Dos Santos gets an early shot off, but there was no luck. But we link up well here, guys, between Dos Santos. Dos Santos brings the ball in close turns and puts it into the left hand corner guys what a finish cool as you like and he's been doing that since he came guys uh, definitely a brilliant signing for us what if you think he's been good tell me in the comment section down below tell me what you think of him tell me if you think uh, but who has been better or dos santos guys so tell me which one of them you think has been better from these clips and these videos who's done the most best since he came in With this, we, he lets the ball run down just enough so he can bring two defenders away from him, get open a space and put it into the bottom left hand corner. What a finish guys. And yeah, we're 1-0 up in the first 15 minutes, that wasn't too bad. But as you can see here, a ball on the horse always getting pressurised uh, to try and make a mistake. And eventually they do. Dos Santos picks the ball up, plays a little bit of 1-2 pass and play with Rosiska here. Brings it back to Rabiot. Rabiot hasn't been too bad. Brings the ball over to Los Santos, but uh, there was no luck. So yeah, we get the corner here, guys. Just before the halfway whistle goes, we get a chance, but it comes out, and that should be the whistle going there. And uh, we'll go into the second half. So yeah, we've definitely played well in this game, guys. Uh, unfortunately, we're only one 0 up at the halftime whistle. It's still a wee bit worrying. We don't want to concede a goal. And end up getting the draw guys, we want to try and push for the second goal to make sure there is no chance of them coming back. But as you can see here, Aston Villa are on the attack, but they make a stupid pass. Dos Santos makes and punishes them for it. Breaks free, has a, a bit of a war with Ocor. <laughs> Got in the rhymes to do the crimes, but anyway. Uh, yeah, he, war he gets the ball away from Ocor, passes, or gets in space, and then shoots into the right hand corner away from the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper left standing. And that is 2-0 guys, definitely Giovanni Dos Santos has definitely been on form for us. And what a finish from him. That makes it 2-0 guys. And three goals and two appearances for Do Giovanni Dos Santos. As you know in the first game he got injured after playing against Man City. As you can see here, Welbeck gets the ball played over to him. Good finish from him under the goalkeeper. And that's 3-0 guys. As easy as you like. 3-0, 71st minute, maybe you can even push for more. Cool as you like, as you can see, guys. Even causing the defender to do flips for days, but 
What a finish from him. And that's a better angle on it. But as you can see here, me and Batshui links up with Kazorda. Kazorda plays the ball over to Oxy Chamberlain. He goes for the shot. <sighs> Beats all goals, guys. A season nearly. That could be goal of the season. That volley just on his right foot down into the bottom left hand corner from about 30 yards out. Cool as you like finish guys, definitely one of the best goals I've scored in FIFA this season. Just the way he catches it into the bottom corner. Goalkeeper had no chance to be honest, probably just caught from the distance he hit it. Plus it swerves away from goal and then in the goal again. Causing the, the, or the keeper just to not know where it's going. And that is 4-0 guys. We've won two games, our game 4-0, another game, what was it, 3-0 and 5-0. <laughs> we haven't even conceded a goal except for the one we simmed in this game guys, which is ridiculous. We try and do it again with Chamberlain, but it goes just wide, and uh, yeah, that should be the whistle now to blow. <coughs> but yeah, that was it guys, that was the end of the game, but as you can see, we're just moving to world class. But anyway, tell me what you think, was Giovanni Dos Santos better? Or Three, Matthew Debussy. Well, anyway, cool. thanks for watching. Hello guys, uh, see welcome you in the next back. One. Today we're going to be playing another episode of FIFA 15. 